Hi everyone, this is Teja. I'm here to present our restaurant website that we have developed. This is a single page application created using AngularJS on the client side and Node.js on the server side. We have also used CSS and Bootstrap for styling purposes. The model we used here for this project is the JSON. So to quickly demonstrate the functioning, we'll go to our home page. In our home page, you can see the slider and you can see the about us, which has the history of our restaurant and we have our specials. And we also have the contact information at the bottom of the page. We have dial us at, we have email us, we have Bay Area find us at, we have working hours from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And now if we go to the login page, we have a functionality for this login page wherein the user has to log in before ordering. So if we go to the order online page and you click on delivery, it navigates to the login page. And if you go to the menu page, and click on appetizers and if you want to add to cart even then it will go to the login page so the user has to log in before placing an order so to log in we have to register before logging in or you can continue as a guest if you continue as a guest you have to give the name and email and then register if you want to sign up you have to provide the name email and password for now we'll register a user we'll give the test as the name We'll give the email as test at gmail.com and we'll provide with a password. I gave four letters for the password and if I click on register, it says password is too short, should be at least five characters. So if I give the fifth character, it gets registered. The user has been registered successfully. So now if I log in with the same credentials, test and the password, the user gets login and it navigates to the order online page. Here we have delivery pickup. So if you want a delivery order, you go to the delivery and provide the details for name, email, phone number, street name, city, state and zip code and then you'll click on continue. If you want to order for pickup, you'll place, you'll select one, one item which is any address. If I give the Galveston address and click on continue, it goes to the menu page. In the menu page, we have appetizers, entry, desserts, drinks and combos. If you click on appetizers, it goes to the appetizer space and you can click on quantity. If you can select three and you can also provide the comments like spicy and you can add to the cart. It gets added in the cart. You can also add more items like you can click two, you can click less spicy and then add to cart. And you can also add more items. You can go to deserts. You can go to quantity. You can click. Add to cart. So if you go to the cart, you'll have all the items in the cart. So now, if you click on checkout, before clicking on checkout, we'll see the JSON file. So if you click on yes to all, this is the user details updated in the JSON file and this is the card JSON where you have given all the details. These are the items you have created and you can see the status is pending here. And if you go to the page and you click on checkout, you have checked out successfully and if you go to the JSON page, you can see the status got completed. It changed to completed. So after checking out, you can provide a feedback. Test. Test at email.com. To gmail.com. Nice website. Good. Submit. Thanks for your feedback. So if you go and check the feedback JSON, it gets updated in the JSON. And then we also have a feature for book a slot for table reservation ad in advance. So if you click a book a slot, you can give your name test, test at gmail.com. You can give the phone number. 
and you can give date of registration on Monday time of registration you can just give 1 30 p.m. and you can give the number of guests and register your table has been reserved and if you try to do the same reservation at the same time it says table already booked at the slot please select another slot if you go to the home if you click on the icon then also you'll redirect to the home page and we also have a Facebook page link to this so it goes to the Facebook page this is our Facebook page so this is our website see in the cart the items got checked out so we don't have any items if you check, click on log, log out it gets logged out this is our home page this is our project Thank you for watching.